A lawsuit will be filed tomorrow morning seeking to stop the ban on open carry guns at polls on Election Day. The move is a direct response to the new rule issued by the Secretary of State on Friday. A rule gun rights groups say she does not have the power to make. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kirchner is live with one of the attorneys on the case. Jim? Carolyn, a group of attorneys have been working on this for several days. They say they are encouraged. Michigan Supreme Court struck down the law that the governor was using to issue her COVID executive orders. They say issues of constitutionality, separation of powers are also in play in their case. The Michigan Constitution spells out that it's solely the legislature who uh, enacts voting laws, uh, to preserve the purity of elections and guard against abuses. The Secretary of State says the open carry gun ban was issued because of protests in Lansing over COVID restrictions. She says she doesn't want voter intimidation on Election Day at the polls, and she has the legal authority. I and the Attorney General and, and many others uh, through well-established case law and precedent uh, have underscored uh, does is, is allowed and is permitted and uh, is you know, part of my role and responsibility as the state's chief election officer. You know, I think that was a political stunt, uh, quite frankly, to, to, to say that. The sheriff in Livingston County tells 7 Action News people can open carry in his county on Election Day, period. No, we're not going to enforce it. Several other sheriffs have asked for clarification, and some have said they expect people to show up with guns, as they did in Lansing, to make their own First and Second Amendment political statements. What is a violation? Is it a fine? Is it an arrest? Do you even know? Still waiting for that, uh, waiting for that type of uh, information to come back. Who's left holding the bag on the confusion? You got the voters and the poll workers. And I think it's that, that confusion that acts as uh, uh, to suppress the vote. So this lawsuit will be filed in the morning, Carolyn. They're seeking a temporary injunction. That'll be up to the judge who gets the case whether to issue that. The rest of the rest of the legal issues will be hashed out after Election Day. Back to you. Another battle brewing. All right. Thank you so much, Jim, for the live report. We'll watch it for sure.